Very, very many congratulations. What a, what a round of golf that was. Eight under. Tell me about your, about your day and your emotions right now. Uh, it's a bit of a blur, really. Um, yeah, I mean, I just went out there and just was trying to post a number. I told my caddy, Ken, yesterday, you know, let's go out and try and shoot seven under tomorrow. Obviously, shot one better, but... Um, yeah, it's it's a bit surreal right now, actually. Um, but just so happy to be back here. Um, it's been a while, so uh, yeah. I mean, back was it back in uh, 2019? You had a, such a great year. I know you've struggled a little bit since then, and you've worked so hard to get to this position and back to a winning moment, haven't you? I mean, describe that process. Yeah, I can't really uh, put it into words, actually. It, it, one of the hardest things ever, you know, and um, at times, you know, I didn't know whether, you know, whether I could do it. Um, you know, this is my seventh week in a row, um, and before I couldn't even play three weeks in a row without, you know, just struggling to get through, having, you know, back problems and just my body hurting, like, all the time. And, you know, this is a testament. I probably wouldn't have been here if, you know, I was still doing the same thing. I wouldn't have been able to, you know, sustain that sort of um, volume of golf. And, um, you know, I just, I'm so glad that all the work is now starting to pay off because, you um, it's hard when, you know, things aren't going your way and you feel like the world's against you. But, um, you know, I've got a lot of people who've just stuck by me and, um, you know, I owe them a lot because it, it is the hardest thing in the world. And, you know, I don't think, I don't think people understand how hard it is to be an athlete and the scrutiny that you're under. And, you know, you question yourself at times and um, it's so hard to pull yourself back through that. But, um, you know, I've just trusted the process and obviously, um, you know, it, it's working. And I, and I guess in some ways a bit more special that you've done it back with your, your friends on the, on the European Tour, the Ladies European Tour. And this is where, you know, you, you, you find that winning moment once again. Yeah, absolutely. Um, obviously had an LPGA win under my belt and um, have so many friends on the Ladies European Tour that I've grown up playing um, golf with. And... Uh, to share that with them is something very special. Um, it feels a little closer to home than in the States. And um, yeah, it's, it's, a it's a really nice feeling. I don't think I'm really um, feeling that right now. Like, I don't know what I'm feeling. Um, but yeah, it, I, love, I love Dubai, I love coming here. I really enjoyed my experience last year. And um, I think the mundaneness of playing the same type of tournament week in, week out, you know, can get to you. And um, I just love coming here and playing something different. And, you know, that element with the lights is just something else you have to factor in. And um, I think that's one step closer to growing the game. And, you know, ultimately, that's what we're really trying to do. Well, you've conquered Dubai and it's time to get your hands on a trophy. Congratulations. Thank you. Very well done. Thank you.